All right, here's homework number 20, you guys, your help video for solving exponential equations. So uh, for number one right here, it's common bases, which means you guys set the exponents equal to each other. Now I'm going to get variables on the left-hand side to get 4x minus 7 equals 5, and I'm going to get my constants to the right. So for this one, it's going to be x is equal to 3. Number two, now because we have two common bases that are getting multiplied to each other, this means you guys have to add the exponents whenever you guys have common bases and getting multiplied to each other. <coughs> so we're going to have two w plus 4 power plus 4w plus 6, all is equal to 2 times 2w plus 1. So you have 2 to the 5w plus 10 is equal to 2 to the 2w plus 1. Now that we have common bases, we are going to equate the two exponents equal to each other. And then from here, you guys, you solve by I'm getting my variables on the left hand side. And I'm getting my constants on the right hand side. 3w is equal to negative 9, divide both sides by 3, w is equal to negative 3. <coughs> Number 3, again, got to get co common bases on both sides. Now, for 8 and 64, it could be 8, or it could be 2. But I'm going to say that we're going to do common bases of 8. So 8 to the second power, you guys, is 64. We have common bases, so now we equate the exponents equal to each other, subtract both sides by 4, divide both sides by 6, y is equal to negative 2 over 6, you guys, and if you guys divide top and bottom by 2, y is equal to negative 1 third. <coughs> 4. Okay, common bases are 5, and this is 5 to the first, right? So remember, this is your get negative exponent rule, you guys. So instead of 1 over 5, it's going to be 5, and this is going to be raised to the opposite, negative 1 power. So we do have common bases of 5, and then equate them together, you guys. Subtract 6, 3 to both sides. Divide both sides by 2. So ultimately, C is going to equal to negative 2. Number 5. Okay, common bases, right? Looks like it's going to be common bases of 3. So 1 over 3 to the 3rd is equal to 3 to the 4m minus 1. To make it, this is another negative exponent rule. So it's going to be 3, you guys, to the negative 3. Equals 3 to the 4m minus 1. Equate the exponents equal to each other, and then you guys solve by isolating the variable. Divide both sides by 4, and ultimately, you guys, you would get m is equal to negative 2 fourths. Divide top and bottom by 2 and we get m is equal to negative one half. Okay? Number six, common bases are six. So this, you guys, is six to the third equals six to the two r minus 11. We have common bases, so equate the exponents equal to each other. Um, add 11 to both sides. 14 equals two r, divide both sides by two. r is gonna equal to seven. Number seven, we have two common bases, but they're getting multiplied to each other. But before we do that, let's just get all of these to be the same common base of two. 16, you guys, is two to the fourth. Now, common bases getting multiplied, which means you guys add your exponents to each other. So we're going to get 2 to the 8k minus 8, which is equal to 2 to the 4th. Equate your exponents equal to each other at 8 to both sides. We're going to get 8k is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 8. k is equal to 12 over 8. Divide top and bottom by 4. k is going to equal to 3 halves. Number 8. I see common bases of 4 across the board, so this, you guys, is 4 to the 3rd. Okay, now, common bases, and you got multiplication in between, so 4 to the n 
plus 2n minus 9, if you add your exponents together, you guys, is equal to 4 to the third. 4 to the 3n minus 9, you guys, is equal to n to the 4 to the third. Equate your exponents equal to each other, and then you guys solve for n. And it's going to equal to 4. Okay, common basis between 8 and 4, it's 2. So 8, you guys, is 2 to the 3rd. Don't forget to multiply by x plus 2. And 4, you guys, is 2 to the 2nd. We're going to distribute that. 2 to the 3x plus 4 is equal to 2 to the 2nd. No. Common basis, so now we're going to equate the exponents together. And then you guys just simplify. Did I do something wrong? Three, oh. That's where I got long. 3 times 2, you guys. That's really 6. Sorry, sorry. So 3x plus 6 is equal to 2. Subtract 6 to both sides. 3x is equal to negative 4. And divide both sides by 3. x is equal to negative 4 thirds. <coughs> so that's the benefit of having us answer, you guys. Because then it allows you to check your work. That's why I know I got that wrong. Okay, 10, common bases. Common bases are 5. So 5 to the 3rd is 125. 5 to the 2nd times 2h plus 1, you guys, is that one. Distribute. 5 to the 3rd is equal to 5 to the 4h plus 2. 2 times 2h is 4h. 2 times 1 is 2. Equate the exponents equal to each other now. Subtract both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 4. h is equal to 1 fourth. <coughs> Number 11, common bases are 7. 7 to the second times PS plus one, p plus 1. 7 to the third times 2p. Now let's do some distributing and cleanup work, you guys. 7 to the 2p plus 2 equals 7 to the 6p. Equate your exponents equal to each other. I'm going to subtract 2p from both sides to get 4p, divide both sides by 4. p is going to equal to 2 fourths, you guys, but then divide top and bottom by 2. And p is equal to 1 half. 12. Common basis between 16 and 64, that is 4. So 4 to the second times r minus 2 equals 4 to the third times r plus 2. Distribute, distribute, 4 to the 2r minus 4, you guys, is equal to 4 to the 3r plus 6. Equate, your exponents equal to each other. I'll get my variables on the left-hand side. Get my constants on the right-hand side. And then, you guys, we have to divide both sides by negative 1. r is equal to negative 10. 12, get common bases on both sides, which is 3, so 3 to the 3rd is 27, you guys, times the 3n, 3 to the 4th times the 2n plus 1. We gotta distribute that. 3 times 9n, you guys, is equal to 3 to the 8n plus 4. Equate your exponents equal to each other, and then solve for the variable n is equal to 4. 14. Common bases between 4 and 32, you guys, is 2. So this is going to be 1 over 2 to the 2nd. 2x is equal to 2 to the 5th times 4x minus 2. Got to distribute that. Now, this, you guys. 1 over 2 to the 2nd, that's a negative exponent rule. So it's going to be 2 to the negative 2 times 2x is equal to 2 to the 5 times 4 is 4x is 20x. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 2 to the negative 4x, you guys, is equal to 2 to the 20x minus 10. We are going to equate the exponents together. I'm going to move this over to this side. Negative 4x is equal to 20x minus 10. Subtract 20x from both sides. So my variables are on the left-hand side now. Divide both sides by negative 24 x is equal to a negative, t divide by a negative, you guys, is a positive. And then to simplify the fraction, divide top and bottom by 2. 
x is equal to 5 over 12. Okay. 15. Common base is right. So it looks to be 2. So this 16, you guys, is 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 6m equals 2 to the 3m minus 8. Okay, if you have common bases and there's multiplication in between, you add the exponents together. So 4 plus 6m is equal to 2 to the 3m minus 8. Common bases, so we're going to equate the exponents equal to each other. I'm going to get my variables on the left-hand side and my constants on the right-hand side. And divide both sides by 3. m is equal to negative 4. <coughs> 16. Get common bases. It looks to be 3, right? So this one, you guys, is 1 over 3 to the second. a times 1 over, this is 3 to the first, right, you guys? a equals 3 to the 16 minus 8. Both of these are negative exponent rules. So this one is 3 to the negative 2 times a times, this one is 3 to the negative 1 times a. So let's clean this up a bit. 3 to the negative 2a times 3 to the negative a is equal to 3 to the 16 minus a. Common bases, but there is multiplication in between, which means you guys add your exponents together. 3 to the negative 2a plus negative a, you guys, is equal to 3 to the 16 minus a. Negative 2a plus negative a, you guys, is negative 3a, which is equal to 3 to the 16 minus a. We equate the exponents equal to each other now. I'm going to move my variables to the left-hand side and divide both sides by negative 2. a is equal to negative 8. 17. Again, get common bases on both sides, so it looks to be 4, so this is 4 to the 4th y times 4 to the 2nd times y minus 1 together. 4y plus 2y minus 2 equals 4, 2y minus 22. Oh. Now equate, uh, we could simplify this still too. 4 to the 6y minus 2 is equal to 4 to the 2y minus 22. Now we can equate the exponent. 6y minus 2 is equal to 2y minus 22. Subtract 2y from both sides. And add 2 to both sides. 4y is equal to negative 20. Divide both sides by 4. y is equal to negative 5. 18. Common bases are 6. So 6 to the second power times n minus 3 times 6 to the third power times n, which is just 3n, and 6 to the third times 2n plus 1. Distribute that, you guys, and this. 6 to the 2n minus 6 times 6 to the 3n equals 6 to the 6n plus 3. Common bases, but you're getting multiplied, so you guys add the exponents together. 2n minus 6 plus 3n is equal to 6 to the 6n plus 3. Combine like terms, 6 to the 5n minus 6 equals 6 to the 6n plus 3. Equate the exponents equal to each other. I'll subtract 5n from both sides, getting my variables on the right-hand side. You can choose what you want to do, right? n is ultimately going to be negative 9. And that is how you guys do solving for exponential equations.